Okay, guys, I'm just going to give you a quick overview of the fish tanks. I'm um, just get done doing a little bit of a kind of a water change, I guess you can call it, on this tank. I took water out of this tank and put it in the 75 to get that cycle continued because it's not happening as fast as I would like it to. So, I took all the water out of this tank. It's super bacteria full. I mean, I just cleaned out this filter completely, and there's already new bacteria forming all over this um, bio scrubber thing. Um, but yeah, um, I don't have any filter floss in that one, it's just for biological filtration. Um, this, t this tank doesn't have the thermometer in it though, I have it on the 75 because that one fluctuates a lot more and I trust this heater in this tank when I don't really, I trust that heater, it's just I don't trust it on that big of a tank, so I've been watching it. Yeah, well this tank looks really good, the goldfish are all fat and happy, um, the green terror is a female starting to color up, she's starting to color up. Um, yep, she looks really nice. Aquion, just filters doing really good. Um, the tank just looks overall great. I mean, other than the water change it just did, kind of. I cleaned out the substrate in that one. It was kind of dirty. It had leftover algae wafers. Uh, that's all they feed them, really. The algae wafers and a couple of blood worms for the bluegills. And there's a couple of other LG wafers, so I got all that LG wafers out of there. Um, this tank I didn't do a gravel vacuum on or anything. Just took three buckets of water out to fill up that tank. So I took three buckets of water out of that tank. So I put the new water in this tank, old water from that tank into that tank, and because that tank needs to still cycle, it's only been up for like a week or a week and a half or something. So it still needs to cycle. And I'm gonna see how he does with that plant in there because I just put the plant in there and he's already been eating at it. So I don't want to kill it, but. It doesn't taste good, obviously, because he just spits out the leaves. So hopefully I'll learn, like, oh, it doesn't taste good, so I just won't eat it. So, I don't know. I'll see what happens if that. If he messes with it too much, I'll just take it out. But I like how it looks in there. But, yeah, so. He's a big old dude. He's probably a good little 10 and a half inches. Measure him when he was in the 55 gallon about two weeks ago. He was uh, 10, inch, 10 and a quarter inches. So in this tank, he's probably going a little bit, maybe probably a good ten and a half out, I suspect. Um, there's this little one-gallon tank. It's all cycled and everything. I could put a fish in there if I wanted to, but I'm not going to. Um, yeah, it's all cycled, though. It's crystal clear. It's all balanced out, so. I could put a bait in there if I wanted to, but I just like how... Just like the water features, a couple stones in there, and a few plants. So, I mean, it's not a special look at, but it kind of just gives the view of my room. Uh, there's fish tanks everywhere then, so that way also holds 360 no matter where you look at the fish tank. That's why I just have it up, so. Uh, their tank is crystal clear. I haven't cleaned out their tank in about a good week and a half. Um, it doesn't, uh, it doesn't stink or anything. Um, there's no nitrates that I suspect. Um, usually the nitrates are with the smellier water, I believe. And the water doesn't even have a smell to it. Their tank kind of does stink, that's why I did the water, I took the water out of that tank. Um... And then, yeah, there's a 500 gallon power wave maker on there, giving some good surface agitation. I just filled up the tank actually a little bit. It was, it got down to about right there, so just maybe we can put like a gallon of water in it, get it back up to level. So, yeah, but their tank looks really good. It's crystal clear. I haven't touched it in about a week and a half. I haven't done a gravel vacuum or anything. Water change, nothing. And, yeah. Well, I still need to get a filter, a bigger filter for this one. All I have is that Marine Land uh, Penguin. And that penguin, a marine land uh, multi-stage canister filter, the C220, which is obviously way under-filtered for this big of a tank. It's only made up to a 55, but that's all I had, and that's all I could see. It's pretty cloudy stuff from doing the water change. So yeah, all I need is the bacteria cycle to be finished up, and then, uh, yeah, because there's not that much bacteria growing or LD or anything, which is surprising, so I don't think the bacteria cycle is finished. So yeah, but thanks for watching, that's the 75. 55 and 55 and 1.5. Adios. Don't forget to subscribe.